<laughs> okay, see you in a minute. Right, so for the last year since we moved into this house, everyone has been asking me um, if they can get <laughs> a little peep at our DIY and renovation. And today is the day. So <clears throat> finally, <laughs> If you've been waiting to see inside our house, like properly, this is the moment. Um, I'm sitting in the car outside because we've spent the last two weeks living somewhere else while our bathroom is done. And now we've come back to have a look at the progress, um, which is very exciting. So <clears throat> what I'm expecting is, well, two things are happening at the moment. One is that our lovely plumber Callum is plumbing in our bathroom. Um, we've had a temporary bathroom for a year. We spent the four, first four months showering at the gym without a shower in our house. Um, then we've had like a temporary bathroom set up that I might be able to show you here maybe somewhere. And then two weeks ago, basically all of that came out, no toilet, no anything. Um, so we had to finally move out. So yes, we're gonna go and get a peep at what Callum's been up to. It might not look like that much because he's gonna be laying, I think, the underfloor heating is in, the tiling on the floor, and I think he might be tiling the walls. Um, oh, Ollie's just walking Jess around the square. Hi. Um, yeah, and some tiling on the walls. But I can show you as well, like, some of the fittings and what we think it's gonna look like when it's done. And maybe you can help me pick a color because we haven't worked out what we're gonna paint it yet. <clears throat> I'll show you all of that. The other thing that's happening is we are having an extension put in on the ground floor. So it's like a classic Victorian terrace house and um, we're having it extended sideways into the side return so that we can fit like a kitchen diner in there. The house has been used as a business for the last like 50 or so years. So nobody's lived in it in that time. So it really wasn't set up to be lived in when we arrived. There was a sort of kitchenette on the first floor, but it was unusable with a um, 1970s gas hob that was in really bad shape. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So yeah, we've had to sort of reconfigure the ground floor to make it into something that we can live in and to find room to fit a kitchen in there. Anyway, so don't expect too much from that either. What they've done, I think, is put a floor in, got the steels up and started with the brickwork. Um, so yeah, I'll take you on a tour around and show you and describe to you what I'm hoping it's gonna look like when it's done. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Wow. Well, all right. Um, I've got the camera out for a YouTube video. Do you want me to like, I'll just keep you out of it. <laughs> Can we come and have a look? Wow, wow. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Look at that. We've got a floor. <laughs> I'm just popping in here with a few before pictures to try and express to you the magnitude of the transformation in this room. This is when we first moved in and this is the temporary bathroom that we've been living with for about nine months. I literally love it, I think you've seen that. It is nice, isn't it? Has it got underfloor heating? It hasn't just yet, then wide in. Okay. But the pants are under there. Hi, Jess, this is the bathroom. Mm, nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's very oh, exciting. This is so exciting. Nice. Shower. It's a good size, isn't it? Maybe that's what colour we should paint it. You like that? Blue. I do like the blue. <laughs> Cool. Oh yeah, there's toilets now. Yeah, I was going to put the toilet in, but I had the wrong uh, back. Which way does the door open? Uh, that way. Right? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's going to be really pretty. I'll probably put the door back on where it was. Yeah. It's going to get on with it. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, yeah, we can always... Um, Will it need a bit of um, taking off the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, the floor's literally higher than it was. Right? Yeah. I like feeling like, because we've only been living in about three rooms, when yeah, a new room frees up, you see your other rooms from a different perspective and it, yeah. it makes the whole house feel bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you uh, the extension, which is what you're gonna get a first peek of out of oh, this yeah, window here. Outside. 
we call this room the junk room (laughs) because it's where we keep our junk but eventually it's going to become a kitchen this is a really good size space isn't it we're going to head outside and round to the garden so that i can show you the extension properly the ugly soil pipes are perfect they're very smart ugly soil pipes aren't they Okay, Um, this is really exciting. Um, I know it doesn't look (laughs) super exciting on the camera, but you can really get a feel for what the space is going to be like and how big it's going to be. And yeah, I mean, it's just really exciting. We're going to have a kitchen. (coughs) Yeah, Mrs. B, we're going to have a kitchen. She's got something in her eye. You've got something in your eye. Hi. What have you got in your eye? Oh, it's really weird. Ollie. Doing some important eye surgery here. You got it? Anyway, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Right, yes, just the- Okay, you can tell I'm not a pro YouTuber here because a plane comes over and I just try and talk louder <laughs> to drown it out. That wall is not the right way to do things. What I'm pointing at there is a wall that's going to come down to make the space bigger. So that wall won't exist anymore. Once the framework's built, they're gonna knock it down. And the sort of white door next to it as well. So this will be an extra bit of space within the dining area. Um, So I think it's gonna feel quite big. And then this bit here is gonna be open. It's like a bifold window. And then we're gonna have a bespoke concrete bench on here that's gonna go in and outside. So you'll be able to sit on it on the inside and there'll also be a bench on the outside that we can use. And then we're gonna have to work out, the levels are actually not as bad as I thought. We'll just need a step down, I think, from here into the rest of the garden. So there we go. What do you reckon, Jess? I feel like I'm... Okay, again, not a pro YouTuber. Um, I honestly just thought if I shouted loud enough then I could stand as far away from the camera as I wanted to. Um, Not the case, I have since learned. But the main things I'm trying to express here are, first of all, how excited I am to be standing in, yeah, look at me jump, to be standing in what's gonna be the extension. Um, And also how much I feel like a TV presenter waving my arms around in front of the camera. This is me pretending to sit on a bench that is eventually going to go there. And again, just excitement. Talking about a roof, there isn't one currently. That's where we're going to put our table. It's going to be good, you know. Like, it's really feeling good. White bricks. Very exciting. Swish, swish. And now it's time to exit the structure. Watch Jess and I do it very, very elegantly. If you'd see me at work, I'm on three stories. <laughs> With a hat on. Okay, here's a quick glance at the sorry state of the rest of our garden. RIP to our barbecue. And then I'm going to take you in and show you from the kitchen side what the extension is going to look like. Okay, this is a way that I can go. Hang on. Yes, yeah, so kitchen, kitchen, and then this is all going, and you'll be able to walk down some steps here and into this magnificent dining area with a window at the end. At the moment, though, it's just where we're keeping all our stuff. Like, look, washing machines, shower beds, doors, a lot of doors, um, and then. Here we go. Oh, here are Ollie and Jess in what used to be our living room. Um, I filmed the first half of a video that was going to have a living room reveal at the end, but that's obviously no longer possible. Um, we could water the plants while we're here. Anyway, this is what it currently looks like. Here's our telly. <laughs> 
And there's my little Dessa dog. A bit different, isn't it, Jess? This is our bedroom, which has currently got a, a toilet in it. And then this <laughs> is what will be me and Jess's dressing room, um, but for now has got a giant bath in it. Um, yeah, so there we go, I think that's everything. So, we've just got back in the car and that was really unbelievably exciting. Like I think because we first had the drawings like nearly a year ago, it's been a long time since we kind of conceptualised the whole thing. So being able to actually see it taking shape, like I think you remember things that you forgot were there and like the size, it's really hard to think abstractly about how big it's going to be but I think we're really happy with um, sort of feel and the size of the whole thing um yeah like at one point we weren't sure if we were going to be able to fit our dining table in it but we definitely can and yeah so it's just very exciting very exciting for me the idea that we might be able to have a bath very soon next wednesday apparently fingers crossed um and yeah, just the thought of like cooking in our own kitchen. So, but we've definitely got some big things that we need to sort out next. Like, yeah, at the moment they're just building the framework. We need to work out what floors we want and then actually order a kitchen. <laughs> Otherwise it will just be a room that a kitchen's gonna go in. Um, so yeah, there are like some big things that we need to get sorted, but I think just seeing some of it taking shape after a really slow six months in a renovation is very exciting anyway so i hope you enjoyed that i hope it was what you were looking for watch this space because i'm sure we'll be able to share more with you very soon um and if you go and follow me on instagram at human.jess i'll make sure you know when i'm taking my first bath in our new bathroom anyway catch you soon bye